Hey there! At Moodle, we strive to produce the best all-in-one learning platform that can be used by schools, universities, governments and companies to build the best environments for their own learners to learn what they need. Moodle itself is completely free and open source, and we've worked hard to build an environment to keep it that way. We're happy to announce our latest version of Moodle and our regular May release, version 2.7. It's definitely our best release yet. Let me introduce you. As usual, Moodle HQ and our incredible community have brought together work from all corners of the globe to this release. In the past six months, we have 14 major new features, with many more in the pipeline. As with all our releases, quite a lot of work has gone into the Moodle interface to make it more usable, even better across all platforms, especially tablets, phones, and in screen readers. Bootstrap-based themes are now default, and we encourage all sites to migrate to these if they haven't already. To help novice Moodlers, we've created one simple customizable theme in Core called More. This theme allows any Moodle administrator to quickly create a unique looking Moodle site without needing to edit files, install third party themes or write any CSS. The text editor is a key part of our system as it's the tool that almost everyone uses to write in Moodle. After much evaluation, we've decided to adopt our own new text editor in Moodle named Atto. Atto was originally a side project of one of our key developers. Because Atto is tightly integrated into Moodle, it allows us to work on usability and accessibility in ways that were not formerly possible. Atto is already a big leap forward from our previous editors, and it will get even better as it evolves. In this release, we've continued to focus on some performance features that make Moodle better on large-scale solutions, such as clustered systems and in clouds that you buy or build yourself. System administrators will find more options than ever to build Moodle systems that can scale to millions of students if required. A big new feature in this release is the introduction of a new logging framework. This replaces the logging that has been in Moodle since version 1 with a new flexible system that captures more data about what's happening in the system. It allows you to store it or act on that information in much better ways. This new logging is the foundation of powerful analytics tools and reports that the community can now develop on top of the platform, achieving the dream of true computer-aided teaching and learning. These new analytics features can also take advantage of our new support for mobile notifications on a variety of mobile platforms. Now your Moodle site can reach out to you direct and let you know whatever you want it to tell you. The final key thing about this release is that it is the first long-term support release we've had since Moodle 1.9 this release will receive attention for security and data loss bugs for three years until May 2017. That's one and a half years more than most releases. We hope that that will help you consider making the investment to upgrade from some of our very old releases that are no longer supported. And that's not all, there's quite a lot more in this release that I haven't had time to tell you about. For more details about all of this, see the release notes and docs on our site, as well as other videos we've been producing demonstrating Moodle 2.7 in more detail. Please use hashtag Moodle 2.7 if you want to post about it in social media. Thanks to everyone who's helped with this release, and thank you for being part of Moodle.